Here is a special weather statement for the following counties in Ohio. Fairfield, Hawking, Pickaway, Pike, Ross, and Scioto. Elevated fire risk through early evening. A combination of dry and windy conditions will create an elevated risk of fire spread today. Minimum relative humidity values are forecast to drop between 30 and 35 percent, with sustained southwesterly winds of 20 to 25 miles an hour and gusts between 30 to 35 miles an hour. Residents are urged to exercise caution if handling any potential ignition sources, such as machinery, cigarettes, or matches. If dry grasses and tree litter begin to burn, the fire will have the potential to spread rapidly. Here is a special weather statement. For the following county, Knox, Ohio. Elevated fire risk this afternoon. Dry and windy conditions will create an elevated risk of fire spread this afternoon into early this evening. Minimum relative humidity values are forecast to drop to 30 to 35 percent this afternoon, with sustained southwest winds of 20 to 30 miles an hour and wind gusts to 35 to 45 miles an hour expected. Residents are urged to exercise caution if handling any potential... National Weather Service Office in Wilmington, Ohio. The preceding signal was a test of the weather radio station KIG, 86 Columbus, Ohio, public warning system. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service between 11 a.m. and noon each Wednesday. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Champaign, Clark, Delaware, Fairfield. Fayette, Franklin, Green, Hawking, Knox, Licking, Madison, Marion, Morrow, Muskingum, Perry, Pickaway, and Union. This concludes the weekly test of weather radio station KIG, 86 Columbus, Ohio. Here is a special weather statement. For the following county, Knox, Ohio. Elevated fire risk this afternoon. Dry and windy conditions will create an elevated risk of fire spread this afternoon into early this evening. Minimum relative humidity values are forecast to drop to 30 to 35 percent this afternoon, with sustained southwest winds of 20 to 30 miles an hour and wind gusts to 35 to 45 miles an hour expected. Residents are urged to exercise caution if handling any potential ignition sources, such as machinery, cigarettes, or matches. If dry grasses and tree litter begin to burn, the fire will have potential to spread rapidly. Here is a special weather statement for the following counties in Ohio. Jackson, Perry, and Vinton. Increased fire danger today across southeast Ohio. Low humidity, above normal temperatures, and dry fuels will combine with gusty winds to create an enhanced wildfire ignition and spread potential through this evening. While spring fire burning laws are not yet in effect, open burning of any type is considered dangerous at this time and should be avoided. Be very careful of heat and sparks while operating any equipment or smoking in wildland areas. Here is a special weather statement. For the following county, Muskingum, Ohio. Elevated risk of wildfire spread this afternoon. A combination of dry and windy conditions will create an elevated risk of wildfire spread this afternoon. Minimum relative humidity values are forecast to drop into the upper 20s to around 30 across southwest Pennsylvania, southeast Ohio, and northern West Virginia, with southwest wind gusts between 35 and 45 miles an hour. Residents are urged to exercise caution if handling any potential ignition sources, such as machinery, cigarettes, or matches. 
If dry grasses and tree litter begin to burn, the fire will have the potential to spread rapidly.